City Council President Brandon Scott just announced new legislation to make sure that athletes stay safe. And of course, it's in honor of University of Maryland football player Jordan McNair, who died during an off-season practice. WJZ is live outside of City Hall tonight. Rachel Menatoff explains the latest developments in the Jordan McNair Youth Protection Act. Rachel. Hey, Nicole and Rick, this is the final vote for the bill. So if it passes in city council tonight, then it will go to the desk of the mayor who will sign it into law. Jordan McNair was an all-star athlete. He was an offensive lineman at the University of Maryland. In 2018, Jordan died of heat stroke at the age of 19 after one of his practices. His smile would light up a room. Jordan's father, Marty McNair, together with City Council President Brandon Scott, are sharing the strides that the city is making to protect its student athletes. When you send your child away with coaches or send them along with coaches, that they automatically assume, you automatically assume that they knew the right thing to do in the event of. Clearly that wasn't the case, so we wouldn't be sitting here, we wouldn't be standing here today. This bill ensures that coaches and team parents are equipped with the proper safety training and equipment if they ever have to respond to an emergency. This includes having on-site access to an AED machine. The bill also requires that any athlete who sustains a serious medical injury be taken out of the game. In August, after two external investigations, the University of Maryland also took steps to implement a number of changes. It announced that it was hiring a new director of sports medicine to lead those efforts. Today, Marty McNair educates coaches and parents about heat-related injuries. We have we have to create legislation and, and policy to literally just kind of make folks stick to doing what they say they'll do to keep our kids safe. He hopes this bill honors his son's legacy and protects other athletes just like him. And my heart goes out to all the families who have lost their kids. And Jordan was my only child, so. Brandon Scott says the next step is to take this bill and apply it to the state level to protect athletes at colleges and universities all over Maryland. We're live at City Hall. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.